This is where I'm a nerd, okay? I love this stuff. It's a new month, so in this pantry chat, I'm gonna be sharing with you what's on sale, what produce is in season, my big monthly grocery haul, I'm sharing the menu, a fun family food donation, and I'm feeding some hungry teenage boys. But buckle up, my friends, because I'm addressing a spicy comment I recently received. I'm being accused of something, so I'm going to be setting the record straight. Are you ready? Aprons on, let's go. There's some great deals happening in December that if it fits into your budget, grab a couple more of these items. Okay, it's a given. We're gonna go check out the baking items. The top two items that'll be cheaper this month are flour and sugar. Brown sugar and powdered sugar. And right now is when I actually stock up for the whole year. This is when I do it. Also mixes like cake mixes and price with a coupon if you could find one, you could still get cake mixes under a dollar. Condensed and evaporated milks crusts, baking powder, baking soda, nuts, chocolate chips, spices, and even canned pie filling. Still keep your eye out on turkeys. The prices are still gonna be good. So if you wanna grab an extra one to pop in your freezer for during the year, now is the best time. Look for your snack foods. Things like chips, crackers, dip mixes, and sour cream. Watch for sales on paper plates, cups, and tablecloths. Cream soups, ham, Okay, I was just looking at the sales flyer for Smith's, and with the sales that are starting up tomorrow, Miracle Whip is going on sale for $3.99. Yes, because I just opened our last Miracle Whip this morning making sandwiches. I need some more to put on my shelf. Since school started, we're going through the Miracle Whip a little bit faster than the mayo. So what am I gonna do within my budget, right? Depending on what the expiration date is determines how many I'm going to buy. And also whatever that digital coupon says. So I've gotta look at the ad. I gotta be very vigilant on what it says. I'll probably end up getting, depending on the date, maybe four. Hopefully that will tide us over until the next sale. All right, what have you seen in your grocery ads this week that caught your eye that maybe you'll go grab a couple of more of to put on your shelves? The big grocery haul's coming up, but this is my food storage haul. Here's what I'm stocking my shelves with right now. So here's what I got at Walmart. Stocked up on clams. We were only down to just a couple and we make clam chowder a lot during the year. So I grabbed minced and chopped. So I grabbed enough to make clam chowder four times. I use four cans in each batch that I make. Finally saw the tiny shrimp at Walmart. So I grabbed all four, because we make our shrimp dip with it, and when we do uh, a big crowd, we usually do two, so this can make two shrimp dips. For my Italian gravy, I grabbed the cento, or cento, all-purpose crushed tomatoes, enough to make two batches of it. So I grabbed eight cans of those. And then some jello for our orange jello salad and strawberry for one more batch of strawberry pretzel salad this season. And then we needed more taco seasoning. So I grabbed from Costco, no, I grabbed from Sam's Club, the Tony's taco seasoning. From Sam's Club, the Swanson chicken broth, a six pack, they're 32 ounce containers. So for at that price, it beat out buying it uh, on the shelves on, in Walmart. So that was a good deal. And then for my laundry and cooking, I needed more vinegar. So from Costco, the Four Monks Distilled White Vinegar. There are two gallons in that box. And this is my recent stock up haul. One of the best ways to save on your grocery bill, to grab things that are fresh, to freeze, and to have stocked in your freezer, to shop when things are in season. So here is some produce that is in season in December. Apples, beets, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, carrots, cauliflower, celery, cranberries, grapefruit, oranges, parsnip, pears, pomegranate, potatoes, turnip, sweet potatoes, and winter squash. If you would just like to have a resource guide of what produce is in season this month of December, I created a PDF for you. It's free, it's down in the description box below. In the comments below, tell me, do you grow a garden? We try to. What if I were to tell you that you could grow a garden all year round and do it in your home. We do with our garden system. And today's video is sponsored by Garden, which is an award-winning vertical gardening system for growing herbs, fruits, vegetables, and even flowers. Garden eliminates harmful pesticides and drastically reduces water usage by 95%. The garden system uses a hydroponic technology and this LED light system that creates the best growing environment for plants. Every membership comes with Kelby. Kelby is your personal AI gardening assistant. Kelby leverages your garden's advanced sensors and cameras to keep tabs on your plants 24 seven. 
and it coaches you on their care from day one. And you can control and monitor everything from the mobile app. And the app actually gives you real-time updates about the health and growth of your plants. Choose from over 60 fruits, vegetables, and herbs. And you can reorder plants through the garden app. And they come as seeds. And these seeds are carefully selected, organic, locally sourced, and non-GMO. This system is designed to be easy to maintain and use, even for people with no gardening experience. Recently, we traveled across the country for Thanksgiving. So with the app, we were able to put it on vacation mode. It did beautifully on vacation mode. I didn't kill it. It's amazing. Wow. Unlock an exclusive offer from Garden now by clicking the link in the description box below. But I have to tell you, I am so impressed. This is the most flourishing garden we've ever had. We are having so much fun with this. So the other day it was really cold, so Shaylee and I had tomato soup and grilled cheese. It was so great to just walk over here, clip some basil, chop it up, put it in our soup. It was so good. One tradition our family has is putting together bags of meals for families. There's a school up in Salt Lake City that passes out these bags to the kids so when they're home on their Christmas break, their family has meals. We usually make it a game with the extended family. We draw names, people pair up, and we race to see who can gather everything on the list first, pay, and be at the front of the store. Kelly, come on, Kelly, come on. Whoever's at the front of the store first wins. So because we're doing six families, we grabbed six of everything, except for a couple of things, and I'll show you which ones. We grabbed the crispy rice cereal, chewy granola bars, instant oatmeal packets, mac and cheese, and they will get two boxes of these. The crackers, you could do either graham crackers or Ritz crackers, peanut butter. These are 16 ounce jars, and they'll get two of those. Raisins applesauce, ravioli, and then they get two cans of vegetables, so I decided to do green beans and corn. And what's new this year is a dessert, and it could be Hostess or Little Debbie. <laughs> oh my gosh, hold that. <laughs> all right, Shaylee and I figured out how to pack the bags so we can make it all fit, and that's how we're going to pack these bags. And then we're gonna run them over to our cousin's house who is going to drive them to Salt Lake in the morning. All right, we're done. Shaylee helped me fill up the bags. Now we're just gonna go get Derek and drop these off at our cousin's house. So we got back from vacation. We were in the Carolinas, so fun. We got back on a Sunday and I didn't go grocery shopping until Tuesday. It was a big haul. I pretty much shopped for the month. When I leave my house, for an appointment or anything, I think what else, like where else can I go to? What other errands can I run while I'm in the car? I hate like leaving the house multiple times a week. I just don't like that. On this Tuesday, I went down south to get my nails done. And so on my way back up, I stopped at Costco, I stopped at Sam's Club, I stopped at Walmart, and then I came home exhausted. That's how it always goes when you go grocery shopping, right? And so when I go grocery shopping, it's a little more intense because I'm studying prices. I do my homework. I love studying grocery stores. I love tracking the prices. This is where I'm a nerd. Okay, I love this stuff. I spend more time in a grocery store sometimes than I need to. Not all the time, but sometimes. So let me share with you what I grabbed for the month. So here is my Costco haul. Some French beans, yum. Baby Bella mushrooms. That is gonna be so good, sauteed up with onions and zucchini and squash I just bought. Some blackberries, yum, they look so good. And some red grapes. We're gonna get two meals out of this bag of bell peppers. We have red, orange, and yellow. Tomatoes on the vine. Now there's a lot in here and we'll be sharing with the family upstairs. And romaine. Here is the fresh squash. We have yellow squash and zucchini. Strawberries. The fully cooked bacon. We have bacon in our freezer, but this is so convenient when you want a quick like sandwich or breakfast. You just heat it up in the microwave really quick, crisp it up, yum. Then the organic millet and brown rice ramen noodles. These are good, and then we'll flavor them how we like. We haven't bought ramen ramen in a long time, you guys, so we're moving away from that. Uh, with the way the day was going with my shopping, I knew I wouldn't be able to make bread, so I bought a loaf of bread, uh, two loaves of bread, and then they had on sale the Jimmy Dean all natural regular sausage. This is three pounds, and the price of this beat out Walmart and Sam's Club. Then the Chobani Zero Sugar Greek Yogurt. We have strawberry, vanilla, mixed berry, and blueberry, yum. And then the organic lactose-free reduced fat milk. There are four half gallons in here and it's a 2% milk. 
and I almost forgot some dairy gold cottage cheese. This is three pounds of cottage cheese. The way Shaylee goes through it, I figure I might as well start buying it like this, but I am making one recipe with it, so that's why I also decided to go with the big container this time. This is a 10 pound bag of onions. The rest of the onions that I had before we left on our trip, I gave to my mother-in-law, so she used those up for Thanksgiving, and a 10 pound bag of russet potatoes. And this is my Costco haul. So for the meals for the month from this haul, we're gonna make some sauteed veggies, fajitas, stuffed peppers, BLT sandwiches, breakfast casserole, and with the romaine and the spring mix you're gonna see in the next haul, I am making a salad for a big family dinner. Next up is Sam's Club. Bananas, green peppers, cucumbers, the Bubba's English muffins, oranges, clementine, like mandarins, a four pound bag of honey crisp apples, spring mix, five dozen eggs. We don't have our chickens anymore, guys. And two packages of the uncured black forest ham. Strawberry jam, Brussels sprouts, celery, asparagus, raspberries, string cheese. This has been highly requested. Two of the half and halves, pesto, fresh cilantro salsa. Never tried it, can't wait to try it. And that's the Sam's Club haul. From this haul, we can add to our menu meatloaf, sloppy joes, breakfast sandwiches, ham sandwiches, clam chowder, pesto ranch chicken, and roasted Brussels sprouts. Ran into Walmart, grabbed some OJ, some Don Julio lightly seasoned tortilla chips, some ricotta cheese, sour cream, white American cheese slices, and some bars of cream cheese. My toesies are getting cold. Feels so much better. Oh my gosh, I'm always cold. I've been this way. Like if you have followed my channel from the start, I'm a hoodie girl and I wear hoodies in the house even in the summer. My slippers are on, let's continue. Boston has his buddies over, they're hanging out. So since they're gonna be here late, I'm gonna cook dinner for them as well and we're gonna make some tacos. That will get those teenage boys' bellies full. <laughs> On Facebook and here on my channel in my community tab, I asked for your assumptions. So I want to address this comment. You are making people believe they should stockpile food due to coming shortages. You put elderly in a panic mode. Many couldn't afford to shop like yourself. I have never used fear to teach about food storage. I've always have come at it as a security. It's been so rare seeing some shortages. They're saying that we could have a little bit of a milk shortage. Am I gonna worry about it? Am I gonna panic about it? No, I'm gonna do things now to get prepared. Try making the milk stretch that you have by adding instant milk to it. Sometimes it's hard to get your hands on chicken breast or it's hard to find ground beef that's less than five dollars. Try not to make your meats in your poultry the headliner of your meal. Add more things like veggies rice, beans to it. Help stretch that protein. Don't panic, we're in God's hands. He's there, he's aware of us. If we take these action steps, it'll give us peace of mind. You will never see me come on here and put that fear in you to shop excessively. My approach to growing your pantry, having a little bit of a stockpile for you to depend on yourself and not have to run out to the grocery store all the time. There was a time when I felt like we were going to the store almost every day because we forgot something. Oh, we forgot something. And once I learned how to shop 
and this was through couponing. Yeah, I, I got big into that. And then I got clued into sales cycles. Okay, it's gonna come back around. And then I got clued into, well, wait a minute. When I am stockpiling, I'm never having to run out because I have one or two extra of that thing. And I'm saving money because I shopped it at a sales price. So by me actually going out to the store multiple times, I'm spending way more money. I truly believe that you need to have a little backup of something in your home. If it's having a little more for two weeks, a month, three months, six months, a year. One of my many goals here on She's In Her Apron is to teach you how to grow a pantry, but never out of fear. I do not believe and will never believe that you should go out and just take things off the shelves and go crazy. I'm assuming that maybe you're fearful of this and if you are, you know, reach out to me. What can I do to help you see that there's no need to fear when planning this way and shopping this way? I believe anybody can do it on any budget no matter how big your income is. It's all about budgeting, it's all about your intention, it's all about your Goals. And I hope I can keep proving this to you here on my channel. But I love getting emails and comments from you all that you've seen by implementing some of these steps that I've taught over the years, how it has helped you. Gotta tell you, started watching you a couple of years ago, never had a pantry growing up, shopped every few days, no supplies. When you said you get enough to make a favorite meal like five times, it clicked. So I changed the way I shop. We just survived a seven month unemployment and didn't hardly need any groceries. Thank you. Hopefully can restock in October and be set for the winter. I'm so happy for her because this is why we do it. You know, we might not be hit with a natural disaster or all of a sudden food is off the shelves, but it's things like this, things of loss of a job, a death in the family, where our whole, our world in our four corners of our home can change so fast. And then what do you do? And this is the whole purpose of it. Not only to save money, but to ride the rough waves that we get hit with. Derek and I have been hit with some rough waves over the years and by building up my pantry the way that I have, it has saved our necks at times. And we are so grateful for that. I am no stranger to having rough months and tight months and, and seasons of our lives where it's hard. But thank you for leaving that assumption. I really appreciate it. You're gonna have to stay tuned because I am coming out with a video where I get very raw with you and share what's going on so you can understand where I'm coming at. Click on these videos here. I'm showing you how you can grow a pantry to any size and on any budget. I'll meet you over there. Thanks for joining me. Bye.